Hey, what's going on everybody? Bruce here from Medieval Collectibles and today we get to do something very cool. Now some of you may know we have our own in-house leather shop called Dragon Forge Leather that makes a wide variety of leather goods such as pouches, belts, and most importantly armor pieces. Now I thought it'd be really cool to not only bust out a full suit of armor but also show the process of putting it all on. But to do that I'll need to enlist the help of the head of our leather department, Roger. Roger, hey, thanks for helping us out today. Yeah, no problem. All right, you ready to get suited yeah, up? Absolutely. So the first thing we put on are the sabatons, which are designed to cover the feet. This is usually the first piece of armor that goes on. They're riveted together in sections so that they can flex and move with the foot. Now there are two straps on each of these. One strap goes around the ankle, and then the other goes under the foot just in front of the heel. It helps if the person wearing the armor raises their foot up to get the strap around the bottom, like Roger is doing here. Once the sabatons are done, we move on to these full pieces of leg armor. Each of these offer protection from the ankle all the way to the top of the thigh. They're jointed in the middle to accommodate the bending of the knee. There is also a loop at the top of the leg piece so that they can be secured to a belt. Roger holds each one of these against his leg under his gambeson while I buckle the straps. There are five straps in total on these pieces. Two that go around the calf, two that go around the thigh, and one that goes around the back of the knee. Now we move up to the belt. This is a double wrap sword belt, which is a far more comfortable way to wear a sword. The second wrap around the body allows both hips to support the weight of the sword, as opposed to a single wrap belt with all the weight on one side. While this isn't a leather piece, this dark warrior breastplate from Epic Armory was just too cool to pass up. It's made from 18 gauge galvanized steel with an oxidation resistant coating. There are three sets of buckle straps on each shoulder of the breastplate, which will help secure it in place and also allow us to strap on some more pieces later. With Roger holding the breastplate in place, I crisscross the leather straps that go from the bottom of one side up to the opposite shoulder and buckle everything down. Before we move on to the other upper torso pieces, I wanted to get these leather gloves on Roger. It'd be much harder to put them on if we did it last. Next, we put on these arm pieces, which are very similar to the leg pieces in terms of how they move. They're jointed at the elbow and have a rondel on the outside for extra protection. There are two straps that buckle at the forearm, one around the elbow and one around the bicep. Now very rarely will you get a perfect fit the first time, so let the wearer move around in the piece and then make corrections based on their feedback. The last piece of leather armor Roger is wearing today is a set of pauldrons that protect the shoulder and the rest of his arm. These hang down from a single strap at the top, so we use one ring on each side of the breastplate for me to hook through. Once I get those on, there's one more strap that goes around the upper arm to hold it down. I'm a huge fan of the 12th century medieval sword from Legacy Arms, and I thought it'd go great with the armor. We fit the belt frog to hold the scabbard securely, 
and then we make some adjustments to make sure that Roger can draw the sword with all of his armor on. Now, Roger hadn't seen this particular sword before, and a functional blade like this one always gets a lot of admiration. Now, what would a suit of armor be without a sweet helmet? This epic dark sugar loaf helmet from Epic Armory has been hammered out of the same kind of steel as the breastplate, and is surprisingly comfortable to wear thanks to the adjustable leather liner on the inside. I help Roger get this last bit on, and voila! You've got yourself a Dark Knight in a fantastic set of armor.